Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Brushes and Bunnies, and it's been so long since I've uploaded a video on this channel. It's been probably over a month since I did any sort of video production and also did any sort of art or drawing, just because I was actually in Canada spending time with my family, which I have not seen in over two years. For you guys that don't know, I do live in Germany, so it's a pretty big deal when I'm back home visiting my family. I tend to just shut off and spend time with my family, obviously. But now it's 2019, it's a brand new year, and I'm so happy and excited to get back into the thick of things with everything to do with art and my YouTube channel. The first official video for this year is something for the YouTube Artist Collective. The theme for this month is vintage. And it was so much fun to do. I really, really love this theme. I'll be talking a little bit about it in this video, and I will also touch base on my art resolutions for this year. I know I'm a little bit delayed with this sort of topic, but I really wanted to do it and talk about it because it could probably give you ideas on maybe your own resolutions for this year. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is a painting done for the YouTube Artist Collective theme, which for this month is vintage. If you want to see what the other artists from this collective have done, you can take a look at the links down below in my video description. I was so easily inspired by the theme vintage and I had so many ideas, but I decided to go with this sort of pinup looking uh, kind of concept with neon signs in the background. So it's very 1950s sort of milkshake uh, kind of place where you go eat a burger. I don't really know. Diner, I guess that's the word. That's sort of the inspiration I drew from using the turquoise, using the hot pinks, trying to create neon signs or give the illusion that they are neon and obviously have really cute sayings like ice cream, cocktails and dreams, bunny motel, sort of things that kind of allude to that era. And of course we have a lovely pinup girl in the middle that's dressed for the sort of vintage look of the 1950s. So a lot of this was so much fun to paint and so much fun to draw. In terms of the art materials that I did use for this painting, you can find it all down below in the video description. Something that is brand new that I've never used before in my art is actually Prismacolor's colored pencils or pencil crayons. I got these gifted to me by my parents over the holidays and oh my god, I am so in love with them. I never thought I would be because I'm such a Faber-Castell girl, but honestly, the Prismacolors are a dream and I'll be creating a video in the near future kind of comparing uh, Faber-Castell polychromos colored pencils and also the Prismacolor ones because they are different but they're sort of like the same price range I would say um, kind of <laughs> I don't know I'll talk about it in the video but these are a dream and they work so well so yeah that will be in a different video but I'm just so excited to to be using them in any case this painting does reflect a lot of my 2019 art resolutions the first one is a really big one for me because it's something that I never really did in my past work, but it's something that I so desperately wanted to do. I just kind of didn't really know how to approach it, didn't really know how to get it done or how to even practice it. And that is how to practice bodies or just drawing bodies in general. So this piece does reflect where, uh, kind of reflects this goal where I am trying to incorporate more of the human body in my art. Over the holidays, I did draw a lot of bodies and I was practicing a lot of the human form and just different uh, kind of expressive poses, I guess you can say. And it was actually a lot of fun and it was easier than I thought it would be. So this is definitely a goal for this year and it's something that I strive to kind of not, in, I don't want to say perfect, but in a way perfect it in my style. So this is definitely something that I will be doing a lot more. You'll be seeing it in my videos. I'll be doing some tutorial videos and I'll also be live streaming um, kind of like expressive figure drawing or yeah, kind of this sort of, these sort of topics will be coming up in my, on my channel in the near future. So at the end of 2019, I really want to say that I'm able to draw a full body with a full face and just have a character and create characters without worrying about how to do it or not really knowing what I'm doing. This is definitely the goal and I am pretty enthusiastic that I will reach it very quickly. The second goal is all about watercolor and watercolor is something that really discouraged me last year, especially near the end of 2018 when I was hitting my sort of art block phase. I would get so discouraged with watercolor because 
I wanted to find a watercolor style and I wanted to be comfortable in watercolor and be able to create beautiful art with watercolor because I feel like something that I never really did before. And this is something that I will be working on this year to establish and to get something sort of a style going with watercolor. I really want to, again, I'm using the word perfect, although it's not the right word, but it's something that I really want to do. So this is something that I'm going to be strongly doing. But that being said, because watercolor did stress me out a lot last year in 2018, this year I'm going to be taking a bit of a different approach to it. I have to constantly remind myself that watercolor is not meant to be 100% controllable, it's not meant to be 100% perfect. You can take risks, you can do different sort of uh, styles or techniques, and you can just build upon layer and layer and layer and it won't necessarily look perfect right away or it will never look perfect. And this is something I have to really let go because I think last year I was trying to control it too much, which was making me frustrated because it wasn't giving me the result I wanted to. So this year I'm literally going to be doing a laissez-faire approach and I will just try to build a style and um, have fun with it. That's sort of the topic or the, the approach that I'll be taking rather than stress out about it. My third resolution is perhaps one of the biggest ones because this combines not only art, but it also combines my entire physical and mental well-being. Last year, I did something super, super, super horrible to myself. I did not allow myself breaks. I did not allow myself to recuperate, to um, do anything outside of art because I was so focused and I was working so hard on trying to get a style or trying to grow my YouTube channel that I literally just stressed myself out to the point of exhaustion and where I, I struggled with art block, I struggled with um, uh, burnout and yeah, I was just completely exhausted that I just did not want to do art anymore. It took me from August 2018 up until now, January 2019, to finally get the drive and motivation fully back. And that's a long time, and this is something that I cannot afford in the future if I want this to be a career for myself. So this year, 2019, I will be strongly advocating for a balanced lifestyle between art and physical activity and or eating well and or just taking care of yourself. And this is something that I will be doing um, in my own time, kind of like privately, but I will also be talking about in terms of videos because if you're anything like me, you tend to go overboard and you become obsessed with your work where you kind of forget to do things for yourself and this is super dangerous and could lead to very dangerous and stressful situations. So this is something I will be very extremely mindful of this year and I will make sure not to um, fall back into the same old patterns that I was doing in 2018. And those are my biggest resolutions of 2019 for art. I am so excited to get back into it and basically achieve and see the progression over the next few months. This is always the, the greatest part and it's a lot of fun and it's just a great journey to be on. I have other sort of resolutions that are a little bit more minor to this, not as big as the ones I described, such as just getting back into the YouTube schedule that I have. We're posting every Sunday, posting um, or doing live streams um, on a kind of like bi-weekly basis and also getting back into Patreon, fixing it up and also fixing up my Etsy store. So these are like minor business things that I really wanna get back into this year, um, preferably at the start of February, but again, I have to pace myself and take things slow and just um, balance everything out. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Remember to check out the other artists in the collective down below in my video description and comment below. What are your art goals for this year? What do you strive to do or strive to become? Let me know in the comments below. I will try to get back to all of you. I have been slacking with the comments also um, responding where I used to respond quite often and you know given the whole art block kind of um, exhaustion period that I went through, I stopped and now I really want to get back into the whole thing. So please comment below. I want to read your stories, your art resolutions for this year. Stay tuned for a live stream next weekend, probably going to be scheduled on Sunday or Saturday. I'm not sure which day yet, but one of the two days I will be live streaming officially for the first time of this year. And I will also be resuming my daily Sunday uploads next weekend as well. 
Wish you all a lovely weekend and we will see each other very soon. Bye!